Hello everyone, Absol 1814, and we are going to continue with uh screw it. Today we are gonna continue with uh Pokemon Reborn and we have to ask people around so we can get information about Luna. Let's see, uh Oh. I can't remember who starts off us off with the conversations. Uh nope. Just try talking to everyone if you can. Oh, purple shard. Howdy there. I've got a special deal. I've got a super rare and powerful Pokemon fitted, but sold by the gangs on the surface. For the price of two shards. Oh. We'll come back to this guy way later. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Miserable lout. Lot. Lout. Pathetic inventory of this is really all you've got. You. Ought to be ashamed of your scruffy rump self. Don't call again until you have something worth my time. Oh, it's that old witch. Oh, it's you. I should have known I'd share low life scum like you lollyganging down here. Don't look at me, criminal swine. You weren't worth my breath. Driveling mucus with every step. Blah. Quite the mouth on that one has. That one has, doesn't she? Hi, Archer. Perhaps, unfortunately, the street savvy are... The only ones with influence down here. There's always been people at Crawberry. She pretends to be such an upstanding citizen, but she just plays the streets down here with her wealth. You recall the Pokemon we stole from her? Yes. That was one she purchased illegally down here. That's why I had no regrets in targeting her. Nonetheless, her attitude is insufferable, yet no one down here stands up to her. After all, they dare not risk her patronage. I'm going... I'm thinking, though. Perhaps we might be better we might better everyone's lives down here if we had to say teach our lesson if you're interested find me around her house is this what happened the last time i don't i think it is uh i think maybe we should do that first before um we head there i don't know <laughs> it's been a while since i did this part so i am just fake it vacantly remembering everything I'm gonna leave dealing with her to you, Andrea. I'll stand guard to make sure no one interferes. I'm just gonna switch with Ace, which is what I finally nicknamed him. So the filth has followed me back here, has it? Do you intend to desiccate my house again? Shit on my life once more? I could pay the dogs in Seventh Street to kill your family if I wanted. Do not cross me, Richard Pigling. If you want, won't leave, I'll make you leave. After that last little incident with your pack of flea-bitten hounds, I've decided to invest in a bit of self-defense. I've already bought the best Pokemon 7th Street has to offer, and they'll make you regret the day you crawled into this world. Ugh, this lady. Hmm, good thing I started with the... Oh, level 60. Shit. I did not predict level 60, guys. Okay. Okay. This is stronger than I thought it was gonna be. Well, crap. Whew. Nope, not enough. <laughs> I tried. You saw how I tried. Alrighty, I'm gonna try with a luck. Oh dear. Ooh, too close. Hmm. Quillfish? I think I can handle that one. Considering it's a poison water type? Bonus. Ooh. Crab in the bowl. That's an ice fighting type. Red. Uh, Solaria, maybe? Uh, it's something. But not to my liking. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Yeah, your stone edge doesn't do much on me, bud. And since I got power herb... Oh, jeez. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to pull out a secret weapon I got. It's a revival herb, and I'm gonna use it on spice. Your spice is faster than this chump. Eh, yeah, sky uppercut, why not? Woo! Good job, spice. Bah! Yeah! Worthless! These Pokemon are worthless! I paid good money for these! That shady vendor, that treacherous pig, I should have him arrested! Sounds like a bad plan. Ah! Get out of my house! Now why would I do that? I- Will you force me out with your fearsome illegal Pokemon? 
Indeed, you would, could not possibly have that vendor arrested. You willfully participated in legal trade yourself. You'll ruin yourself if you try to do anything. How dare you! So that's just it. Our t terms are as such. Firstly, you will st Firstly, you will stop your fiendish screeching. Secondly, you will never return to 7th Street. Are we clear? <sighs> Agreed, then. Andrea, let's go. Well done. I do believe we will. that will be sufficient to see her eased from 7th Street. I won't keep you any longer, but one gift. From me to you, a member of the Aqua Games should find this naturally useful. A rain dance. I'll see you around. I don't know if that was actually what we needed to do for the main part of this, but let's just head back downstairs. I think we talked to people mostly. I just forgot who we talked to. And I think as I pointed out in the last episode, you can go there to heal. So uh, let's see. I think we talked to our game members. Hey, what's up? You getting high up on the level ups? Huh? Why not? Oh, you are you came here looking for someone? You'll totally find her. You could do anything. Actually, wait a second. I didn't see a girl, but there was this weird guy wandering around a moment ago. I think he was down towards the junk dealer. You want to see if you can catch him? Oh, I hate how these buildings are locked. I don't know how to get in here. And the junk dealer, he... Yo, buy some... Huh? You're looking for that weird guy in the white robe who was just here? He... <laughs> I gift him good. Kid had green all over him, in more ways than one. Anyway, you just missed him. He's probably around here somewhere, though. Maybe ask around. Maybe someone ought to notice him. That said, buy some. some. Yeah, this guy sells uh, quick powder, opal snow, sticky barb, charcoal, uh, random stuff you'll, you would normally sort of find in stores. I don't know. And I think we move up here. Oh, I think you talked to Pierce. How bad, then? A man in a white robe? He just went into the watering hole right, here, right there. Oh, bleh! I hate you, so I'm gonna extreme speed you. Oh, okay. Alright, how about air slash? There we go. Too bad. Nope. I'm a flying fairy type. I'm invincible. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Woo! Good job, Ace. Wah! Actually, give me a sec. I'm gonna switch out with my Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna switch out Lazaria. Until I can get an Ice Stone, I don't know if I can do anything about her yet, so we'll just leave her here for a bit. Hmm. Uh, who should I bring? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Uh, I guess I'll bring uh, Nero. Never, never know when an Earth type move is useful. Hmm? Oh, I guess you had to do that. Oh, because you had to go in the watering hole, which was this place. And when you come out, you see a certain guy come out. I had a feeling you were following me. But of all people, I never expected to see you down here, Andrea. Then again, I suppose this isn't the sort of place someone like me would choose to be either. I was asked to get some supplies for our ritual, so it can't be helped. Of course they would be cross with me if someone followed me back, but I must return post haste so we can save Luna. Oh, you're also trying to save Luna, I see? I see. Well, in that case, there should be no problem. We have to. We have the same goal. I'm sure that you will understand that. The entrance to our chamber is actually hidden down here, but I'll go ahead and leave the way open for you. It's just right outside. You won't be able to miss it. Oops, I accidentally started to battle with this trainer. Uh, I wish I had a fairy type attack, but I don't, so this will have to do. Ooh, spoopy. Spoopy with that horse, with that uh, sword dance. <laughs> Lopany. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let Ace deal with it. I got. Ooh. Ah, why so many criticals? Not criticals, but the. There we go. Now make sure you heal before going down there, because you're going to meet a lot of trainers. Oh, blue shirts. Just making sure I didn't miss anything in here. Anyway. Eh, heal up. And he left the way open for us, so we can go in. And before you take the, the other way, we're going to get this rock. Oh! Max revive. Huh. Uh, just so you guys know about... 
uh, earlier when I was using the uh, Max um, Revival Herb. There is a way to get it, but you'll have to wait till way later in the game. I just managed to get it now because I'm trying to make this fast for you guys. Anyway, as we enter here, we get cornered. Sorry about this, Andrea. That is, Elias actually asked me to let you in here. But you actually thought I was that dumb, didn't you? It figures. Most people don't seem to think very highly of me. Which I suppose is typical of a person who prefers the company of bugs to that of people. Ah, please do not mistake my... Oh my god. Shall we say for any personal disdain, I am merely doing what is best for my future and for Luna. And you have done well, Bennett. Continue your diligence and I will surely secure your position in the Elite Four for you. Yes, of course. Thank you, sir. Although I originally intend only to ask his help in finding Luna, Bennett has proven a surprisingly useful assistant. Naturally, I want to help Luna as much as you do, sir. As such, we shall begin her purification ritual post-haste. Until then, please see that Andrea is confined safely in the dungeon. We shall deal with the annoyance later. We will eradicate any memory Luna has of the swine Ramitus. Hopefully, then, she will return to where her loyalties lie, and return to the light. Yes. Well, Andrea, if you would follow me. Not that you have much of a choice in, with our m numbers. Motherfuckers. <laughs> well, never thought I'd be in prison. Eh, yeah, but, you know, shit bites the fan, right? Alright, uh, just to note, these books in here, they're gonna be very important. Let's see. When one door closes, another opens, and their soul come with David. Just remember the numbers, like RCS223. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know why, but for some reason my OBS just cut me off. So, um, this the prisoner next door. I'll fill in what was cut out. Uh, the prisoner next door has a cleft key. He'll ask. He'll let you out, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, it'd be best if you don't have your speed on. Uh, just go in here, and there's a spell tag right here, and then copy all the numbers in these books. And then, uh, try to sneak on by, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Just gotta be very careful with this, or else it's not gonna work. Immediately go down here, and then turn this way. But you wanna go down, and then turn to the... Uh, right? But then you don't have to go forward that, that guy, you just need to go this way, and then up. Uh, this way is blocked, so we won't be able to get in here until way later in the game. I'm gonna save here just in case, because this is a little tricky. Oh, like so. Uh, I'll be back in a second, guys, while I get back there. Alright, we're back, guys, and we're gonna try to take him on again. Try to keep the speed on low. And as soon as he turns his back, um, like, you have to run all the way that far. And it's sort of the same thing for here, too. And then that's how you get past them. Attention all sentries! Worship service will begin shortly. Please make your way to the sanctum at this time. Now, at this point, um, it's just mostly battle, so you don't need to worry if you get sighted by these guys. So, you just have to battle them. Interesting stage, though, huh? So I'm gonna test out Sky Attack. Ooh, nice. Alrighty, extreme speed, woo! Oh dear. Mm. And now, Air Slash. And there we go. And me? No. And don't worry, if you need to heal, there's uh, these things here. The RCS pieces. But I think we're fine, so we don't need to worry. Um, you don't have to fight all the guards. You could just avoid them and then hit to these statues. But I need to look up what the code was, because I totally forgot what it was. So I'm just gonna get rid of these guys for now. Oh, whoops. Uh, Nero, I need you. Oh, you're smart. I give you that. You're a smart, smart dragonair. Eh. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Poison. Woohoo! Screw your old holy light! Uh, shell gun, that's a different story. Um, let's go for it, Spice. 
sky uppercut. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. But not as bad as that attack did. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's no book. Uh, sh there's no other rooms here. But, oh, Jesus. Ah! What? You have a ditto? Why do you even? Well, it's gonna be dead, hopefully, by then. Yep. There we go. Oh, dear Lord. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon with one of these. Oh, what? How do you... Oh, there we go. And, um, I will be back with the first code for green. So, give me a second, everybody. Hello, guys. We are back, and we have the code for the RCS puzzles. Uh, I believe these are the right ones. So, this one... Unless if you paid attention to the books, which I probably haven't, because I don't really care. I just looked up the answers. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope, these are not the right ones, so we'll have to see if the other codes will work. Nope. Okay, uh... Hmm. Yep, so 3, 8, 2, 1 is for green. So I can rule that code out. Next one is blue. Uh, let's see. Let's try... Four, zero, two, zero. Nope. Two, three, three. Nope. So let's see. Two, eight, two, seven was the. Oh, maybe. One, six. Oops. Five? Yep. One, six, oh, five is for blue. That one's actually correct. Damn. <laughs> Alrighty, now we go on to the red and the violet ones. So for violet, um, it's probably either, let's see, four, two, alrighty, zero, two, two of four is for purple, which is violet, and so that means for the red, the answer for that one is two, three, oh, three. And there you go. Uh, that's how you open that. And uh, you could save here if you wish, if you think there's going to be a battle. But don't worry, I don't think there is, but if there is, be ready. Andrea, you are not only foolish, but impudent to disturb our practice. Sorry about that, everyone. Just moving my screen. Andrea? <laughs> if you truly are so desperate to flee your cage, I will permit you to watch. However, you will only watch. Bennett? Move or... Move so much as one muscle, and I'll have my assistant put into your friend here. Uh, if you're gonna have me tied up, at least ask for my safe word. Please stop talking like that. I'm not taking orders from you. You're so not my type. What is your hair even doing? My time is better spent on my on studies than on perms, thank you. Though I will not permit you to dis create this holy place with your in in decorous babbling. Let's proceed with the trial. Luna, once and for all, we shall cleanse your mind of taint of the taint that is the swine Ramidus. Mmm! One of these cultists looks a little off. Mmm, I wonder what the corner one near Cain is doing. Doesn't he look familiar, everyone? Just for just food for thought. You will remember me as your true father. You are not my father. Please release me. His poison has warped your mind. Luna, my daughter, return to the light. Stop saying that! De facto perdio. Let the Lord Arceus fill your soul and your mind. Embrace the light. Be cleansed of the dark. I think that is about enough of that. Gardevoir? Lights, cameras, drama! Bye-bye now. Master? You will stay in your hand, Ilias. Banna, darling, would you mind stepping away from the pretty boy? Gardevoir, how could you? After... We all live together with my mom. Andrea, help me release Luna. Everyone. Unhand me at once, swine. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I suppose you did live there, too. I was only there for Luna, of course. And you were always shut up in your room. How rude. I'm afraid I can't do that. Because her father will not. I must protect Luna. 
And to be honest, dear Bennett, I never liked the way you looked at Luna anyway. Then if I must lose her, so be it. Although I did not want to do this, Luna. I must take this back. Elias ripped the emerald brooch from Luna's neck. Th that's... Give that, give that back! That's a gift! It was a gift from my father! I am your father, you ignorant little girl! Shut up! How do... How I look at Luna is nobody's business but my own. Got it. Gracious. And what if it makes her feel uncomfortable? Can you really get off thinking like that? Oh, but perhaps you really do. Is that why you were always in your room with, your, with the door locked? It's not like that. I should hope not, Bennett, for your sake. That's enough, Garnivore. No need to torment the poor boy. He's confused enough already. Or he must be, if he's sided with someone like Elias. Excuse you, I did the Lord's work. And you wonder why I deny him. Strange, too, isn't it? That someone so scientifically minded like Bennett would be in, should be in a place like this. I just want what's best for Luna. Oh, well then chain her right up! Are you kidding? Consider what's truly best for her. Is blood, is blood a stronger tie of family than those who care for her? Of course no one could be closer to my dear Luna than I, isn't that right? What do you mean by blood? You are my father, master. I know no other. Even in these sacred halls, your perversion abounds. Provision. Ugh. I've heard that one before. But aren't we overstaying our welcome? I believe we are. Goodbye, old friend. Hang on, hang on tight, everyone. And that, kids, is how you storm a castle. I mean, if you... Can even call this a castle? Gardevoir is a capable is capable of calling anything whatever she wishes, and she will readily do so without a care. I'm so grateful to everyone for coming to save me. I formally apologize for the inconvenience I've caused. Luna, darling, you know, Master and I would never abandon you. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Gardevoir. <laughs> I need to stop getting my butt catcher too. I'm never gonna be the very best like no one ever was at this rate. Hey! Kane did a reference! That's all well and good, but perhaps we shouldn't chit-chat idly right on, on our enemy's doorstep. Master is right. I wish to escape from here. It would not do to return to the castle at this point. At least I will not be returning. Apologies, Kane, but we will not be able to have our battle just yet. I have other business to attend to just now. Though I... Thank you for the lead from the floor. God of War? Ta-da, dears! Stay tuned for our next big entrance! Wait, what do you mean thanks for the lead? So I guess they won't be answering that question, then. <laughs> Master does love his mess. mysteries, doesn't he? Perhaps it's better if he doesn't stay say, Hearts beat faster in the darkness. Do you know why? Because it's better than with the lights off? Oh my. Well, be that as it may... It wasn't quite my intention, but in a different vein, darkness is quick to fester in one's heart. Tell me, Andrea, are you afraid of the dark? Nope. Good. Please take this. She will give you a crystal key, which will lead her, which would lead you to right where she is. With this, you will be able to enter Yaloa Valley. As for how to find it, there is a single tree with my master's in my master's labyrinth. You can figure out the rest, right? The darkness in Master's heart bores the hole that I cannot hope to fill alone. But I can pretend, can I? Andrea, I'll be waiting. So, I have no idea what she meant by any of that, but I'm gonna get going too. Since Ramadus blew the coop, I guess I'll see if I can give those guards at and I get a wake-up call in a bit. See ya! <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna make our way to that specific tree that Luna has stated. But before that, we're gonna go over here and heal our team. Even though there was really no need for it. And I'm going to give it a good old switcheroo. Because there's some types that cannot do much in there. Like so. A luck you're not going to be used. Because you are weak to dark types. And that's right, everyone. Uh, she is a dark type gym leader. And hang on. Let me see if I can. Where is he? Where is she? Oh, wait. I think I have an idea. Hmm. Alrighty. This will be my team for the seven, for the ninth gym. And we're going to be making our way there now. Uh, 
as I was trying to say last episode, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you go to a store to buy lots of stuff, because you won't be coming back here for a good while, and you'll see why a little later. So for now, we are going to make our way to that to that area that Luna has stated. Oops. I'm going to slow this Taurus down. Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you st there we go. Yep. There we go. And I'll show you that. Remember that lone tree that we always walk by when coming back to Remedus' place? Ah, dang it. What's going to do? Dang it, I don't want to kill it. Uh, maybe this will work. Yay, it works. <laughs> I didn't know I could catch Skidoo here, so this works out for me. All right, from here, you just go down in the tree, and you're here. You're in the hidden underground area, and I'm going to put some super repel. Oh, and with the crystal key, you just got to do this. And if you have a Pokemon that has Rock, Shma Rock Smash, that's good, because you're going to need it. But the reason why I have it like this, like with my different Pokemon doing it, is because I'm using a mod that helps me use different HMs depending on on uh, if I have the badge and the TM-ish themselves. But I would teach it to my Pokemon, but I find it easier this way. I will probably do a, a, mo a showcase for this mod specifically, but right now we're just going to go through with the Let's Play. And I think we got to start here. Ooh, spoopy. So I think I'm going to show you guys part of the puzzle as far as I can, technically, for this episode. Yep. Yep. Oh. This isn't part of the puzzle. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> I guess we'll end our- Oh! What's this, guys? Firestone! Oh! Oh, this is going to be- Ooh. Ooh, that's going to be is way later. Actually, I don't think I ever caught Spear Tomb in this game, so I don't know how that works. I'll have to look it up. Alrighty. Crystal Key. Actually, this is the right way, because now we can activate the green ones. And I will show you all, guys that next episode. So I will see you then. Bye!